What's up, everybody? <clears throat> How's it going? Uh, what a day it was in the NBA yesterday, man. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, uh, most importantly, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, thanks to my new subscribers, man. Uh, glad you guys could be here. Um, first and foremost, I'm not a capper. You know, I just come on. Uh, and try to prepare guys for the NBA slate, guys and gals, <laughs> for the in, for the upcoming NBA slate. Give you some of my leans, and you know, most importantly, some of my thoughts of uh and 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 you know of how how the slate probably gonna go. Um. Uh, what I was gonna say. Uh, so uh, make sure you following uh, uh, at Fantasy Labs NBA on Twitter, man. I can't stress this enough. Um. You know, uh, especially with up into every game lock. I know I sound like a broken record, but it just is what it is. Uh, prime example yesterday. I mean, I know when I did the video, it was early yesterday, but, you know, there wasn't any reports of uh, Giannis being sitting out. But I told you guys, it just felt like a, a sit-out day for him. And, you know, lo and behold, you know, he, he, he was ruled out. You know what I'm saying? Very, very close to lock. And uh, those are the things, you know, uh, I mean, I can't say it enough. I mean, uh, when I say, you know, make sure you be, watch out for Fancy Labs. Uh, um, 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 when I say, uh, you know, try to know your personnel. And when, you know, you have to know your personnel. You know, when I say um, try to learn the injury report, those are the things that I mean, you know. When I say, uh, you know, I mean, how do you learn, how do you learn the injury report? You just have to be on it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you have to be on it, man. You have to be on it. Sometimes you have to temper your expectations. For some of these players, man, the average gambler, you know, they'll sit down and say, uh, you know, I'm just going to bet on this team, bet on this, bet on this team. And in most, in some, in most instances, you have to really, really look at the overall, you know, body of things. You know what I'm saying? You know, players in and out and who's questionable because that's major, man. It's major, you know. But uh, we got, I don't know how many games we got. Uh, three, four, five, six. Man, games, decent amount of games. Uh, I ain't even going to lie. I didn't go into all of them. Um, I just, you know, I'm just going to go through it, though, man. Uh, so uh, hopefully we can do this quickly. Um, first game on the docket, we got two eight over un and a half over under in this one. Uh, Miami Heat on the road. <clears throat> Indiana Pacers favored by five in this one. Um, right off the back. I'm going to give you the injury news and notes for this one here. We have uh, Jimmy Butler right now. He's still uh, uh, listed as out. Uh, so, you know, uh, I don't know, man. Keep an eye on him, man. You know, I know I read he might be back. Uh, Monday, but keep an eye out on that one. I mean, uh, injuries, injury, right? You know, keep an eye on that one, man. Uh, we know Bam is out. Uh, I have a parlay that I did last night. Just thought some first looks. I think I put five dollars or ten bucks on that. I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that. But um, I mean. We don't have Miami props out. Oh, oh, you know what? I think we do have Miami props out. Uh, so that's interesting. So that's letting me know that he might be out. You know, he might be out. So, you know, I, I know I thought I read he might come back Monday. So it, it's a good possibility that Jimmy Butler is probably going to be out. Uh, you know, last game I was all over the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. I told you guys that. Um, I ain't going to touch on too many props here. Uh, lean, I uh, lean towards uh, Indiana Pacers in this one. Um, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, that's 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 that. I'm gonna save a little time. We know what we got in these people. I mean, you know, you got some bonus out there, double double candidate. You know, uh, Dwayne Deadman. You know, all these boys, they're gonna be out there, man. So, uh, 
you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the uh, uh, Indiana Pacers, and probably I'm gonna probably yeah do a player performance double in this one. You know, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind uh, getting to uh, Chris Duarte ten points in a win. Uh, um, Sabonis, I mean, he's hitting threes lately. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know that. You know, uh, he does have a three point. I mean, he hit two of them last game. You know, I, I wouldn't probably wouldn't bet that, but you know. I mean, it's a few few props out here to like, you know, uh, uh, but you know, to save some time, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it moving, okay? Uh, so I don't make this uh, video uh, a little that long, that much longer. A lot of people ask me for my picks, and it's hard, it's hard, man, because see me, I work two to ten thirty, so I'll be gone. Number one, number two, I, I'm so much of an injury report hog that it takes me. You know, it takes me a long time. Like yesterday, uh, it took me all day, but I came up, you know, with a parlay and then, you know, close, really, really close to game lock. And then, you know, I, I hammered it twice. I threw the Cowboys in there. What, was I, what, what did I do? What did I play? I played the Cowboys. I played this. I did. I, I, I took, uh, let me see. Yeah, I took the Bulls. Oh, shout out to them. <laughs> shout out to them Bulls, man. I played. I played. I, I hit that DeRozan five five rebounds in the um in the win player performance doubles. I we already talked about that in the video yesterday. Uh, uh, then I went back to hit it again, and it was locked. I think it was locked for Illinois. Cause probably so much money was coming in on it. And then I took the uh I took the uh I took the um I took the uh. The, uh, that one was locked. I took the six rebounds for um, Levine in the win. That hit. Bulls almost tried to piss that game away. Uh, if 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 uh, if uh, what's his name Vucevic, if he would have grabbed that eighth rebound, I mean it would have been a whole bunch of people across the industry hit. You know what I'm saying? So you know I missed that. I missed a couple of uh, same game parlays off just off that eighth rebound. That that hurt. And then, um, you know, if Rose would have got 20 points, oh, you know what? I did post some of those those L's on Twitter, you know. But, yeah, if Rose would have got them 20 points, man, I would have been sitting fat. I had, like, a, a monster one going. I took the Cowboys, I took the Bulls, I took Toronto. Right as soon as I got that news. Once I got that Giannis news, that's what put me in the, you know, that's what put me in there, you know. I had my mind made up. I took Memphis, I took... I stayed away from that Detroit game. I stayed away from that. I took Portland. I was just, I mean, I took San Antonio. I was, I was, I was, I was I, at, during, over the course of the day, I just really started liking uh, Toronto. I mean, um, San Antonio. Um, got them for the bands. Um, salty, I couldn't get that Memphis for the bands. And then um, uh, my favorite bet was um, White. Uh, 12 points in a win. I probably got that for plus 230. And then um, I, they had a 15 points in a win for White. And I took that and I probably got that. I got that at uh, plus 330. And pff, he didn't even play the fourth quarter. That was crazy, man. He, he ended up with 12 points on the head. Cash that, you know. But, uh, you know, that was just some, you know, so it really takes me a long time. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really, I'm really on, on my own on injury report. I'm an injury report type of guy. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm really an underdog type of guy when I bet on these games for the simple fact that, you know, I do like the bad player performance doubles and, you know, uh, Underdogs, you know, they they they're, they're uh they tend to have higher odds in player performance doubles. All right, all right, we got Cleveland Cavaliers at Washington Wizards, a two hundred eight over under in this one. Uh, uh, Washington Wizards favored by four and a half at home. Okay, these two teams just played a few games ago, and uh, you know, Cleveland is my team, man. You know, I'm from Chicago, Bulls are my team, but you know, Cleveland and the other team I'm gonna get to in a minute. You know, these are my guys, man. You know, they cover Kings. So I got some interest in that spread right off the bat, okay? Uh, I don't – hey, for this team, you know, uh, most of the time, you know, I, I I don't care if they're on the road or at home. Uh, they just – they they, 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 you know, just that old school – they got that old school roster, man. I mean, they, they, they you know, they have damn near three seven-footers out there. You know, Evan Mobley, I, I, just, I just like I – like, I like what these guys do. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's early. Uh, I do have some interest in that uh, four and a half right there, leaning towards Cleveland. Uh, 208, like I said, over on there in this one. Last time these two teams played, it went under. All right? It was about 95 to 98. Don't quote me on that. A lot of players didn't get the, hit, their, hit, their, hit their stats. And keep in mind, uh, there was no, no Kevin Love didn't play that game or Laurie Marketing didn't play that game. Okay, so we're going to have Kevin Love and Laurie Marketing here. All right. Now, um, I mean, as far as. As far as props go, I mean, Darius Garland has been playing pretty pretty well lately. I don't I don't really bet his point prop, but he's been killing it. Uh, I don't really bet Jared Allen, Jared Allen's point prop either. Uh, I stick to his rebound prop, and most importantly, his uh, his uh, his player performance double, uh, uh, double double in a win. That's just one of my go tools. Uh, I do have some interest in um, his rebound prop right along with Evan Mobley. I mean, it's sitting at seven and a half. I do alter it, you know, in same game parlays, uh, even if I, I, you know, seven or, you know, even if I, I go down to six, I probably think it's a lot of juice on that one. Uh, minus 330 in same game parlays or player prop parlays. I don't mind getting to that. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I mean, I, I don't care. You know, I, that's, that's just, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, if I can get the plus money in some some areas, on some player player prop parlays, you know, that's 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 what I do, you know, uh, plus one hundred, plus uh, uh, one fifty or whatever, and hammer it. Y'all know y'all know the deal, shit. Y'all know the deal. Um, yeah. So, uh, I mean, where's uh, where is? Okay, there's Daniel Gaff Gaffer right there. Um, Dan Daniel Gaffer has been rebounding the ball well lately. You know, I think he's had ten rebounds in uh, three of his, you know, in his last three games. Uh, I don't know what to expect here going up against these towers. I don't know what to expect. I'll stay. I, I, me personally, I'm staying away from it. I'm not. You know, I'm, I ain't mad if you go there. and nah, I'm staying away from it, even with his point prop. You know, I'm, I'm staying away from it. You know, the over under set at uh, 11 and a half, 10 and a half. I just don't think I'm, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get there. Contarius Caldwell Pope, he's been playing some good basketball as of late. Uh, last time these two teams played, I think he had five points, okay? He's been he's been killing it, though, uh, as of late. I mean, he's he scored double figures in about five out of his last six games. Some decent amount of double figures too, like what? Uh some 14, 15s, and 16s, I believe. Uh yeah, he had 14, 17, 16, 20, 9, 17, 16. But uh yeah, uh last time these two teams played, he had uh did he even play? Um I don't know. Oh yeah, he did play. He had yeah, he had five points, one rebound, one assist, you know. So uh I mean <clears throat> Cleveland will slow the things down, you know what I'm saying? You know, cause some some havoc with these big boys, man. And uh all my regulars y'all know, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to keep going into this, man. I mean, I mean, things happen. Like Spencer Dinwiddie, he ended up getting 10 rebounds the last time these two teams played, you know? I mean, <laughs> shit it be wild, you know what I'm saying? Be wild. I think I did the same game parlay for that game and I put him under um, that motherfucker ended up coming. He got, he killed, he killed, he killed me in the first quarter. I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I was at work. I had went on break about 15 minutes after the game's locked. And I looked, I was like, damn, that shit dead. So it's a lot of wild shit that goes on, man. But you know, all I can say right now, I mean, what, uh, Bradley Bill, he had, I think he had like 18 points that game. 15 points. He had seven rebounds and seven assists. So uh be safe. Be safe, man. Be safe when you, you know, when you when you fucking with these Washington Wizards and this Cleveland game. Anything can happen. I can't put a super read on it. Uh I got some interest in that in that spread there, okay? Uh and I will, you know, I'll be taking some solo stabs at uh double doubles and shit like that. Uh Minnesota Timberwolves at uh Minnesota Timberwolves at uh yeah it's a edit alert and limits because I need to do that stop asking me if I got it I ain't how much and telling me how much money I spent I'm doing a podcast motherfucker anyway yeah uh two eighteen and a half over under in this one uh 
Brooklyn Nets favored by seven and a half at home. Um, <clears throat> seven and a half, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, I know I got some interest in that. Uh, but we, uh, but you know, we gotta have to. Uh, you have to go through the injury reports. You know, it's it's it's, it's an injury thing here. So Carl Anthony Towns, uh, he's questionable for this one. Uh, some type of tailbone contusion. So. <laughs> You know what that is. I mean, it is what it is with that. So keep an eye out on that. Um, Anthony Edwards is questionable as well. You know, he was questionable last game. He went out there and played. So, you know, the competitive spirit that this guy has, I know he'll probably be out there, man. So, but still got to keep an eye on on that. Um, Patrick Beverly still out. Jared Vanderbilt is questionable. Uh, yeah, he's questionable, man. So, yeah. Keep an eye out on that. And then uh, what else we have here? Jalen McDaniels is questionable. Um, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, yeah, so that's it's, you know, that's that's what it is, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, everybody that was questionable that's going, I'm I'm, I'm gonna take me. I'm, I, I like Minnesota. I ain't gonna lie. Uh you can look at some there's some guys, uh, you can look at some guys, I mean, you know, especially if cat goes, uh, Let's see what we got. We don't have a lot of props out. We only got these three guys propped out. These are props out. Uh, I mean, the, uh, James Harden, and the, you know, these boys, they, you know, they're self-explanatory. I don't really have to touch on these three guys. I never do. Uh, it's just either you're going to get there or not. Uh, I rarely get to them. You know, uh, I rarely get to their point props and shit like that. You know, I look for them and say and, and, and player performance doubles. But uh in this game right here, we don't have anything out. Injury news. I'm just letting you know now. Uh, I'm gonna have a slight lean towards the Minnesota Timberwolves if all of these guys play. I know they're on the road. I know this. This is not a good spot being on the road, but you know, you got D'Angelo Russell. I mean, a healthy squad. Everybody come on back. You know, they got some defensive guys over there that probably, you know, can make it kind of tough. Uh, you know, then on, on Brooklyn side, you know, uh, I'd imagine Mar the Marcus Aldridge, you know, he'd have to be out there. That's probably somebody's prop that you could look forward to because you can get some rebounds. You know, you can get a few points on Cat, all right? Uh, Cat can get some points on your ass right back too, though. So, you know, I'm going to like him if he plays. Uh, you know, Patty Mills was always in play for the three. I mean, you know, um, I don't know, man. It's not too much. For me to like, I mean, on on the Minnesota, on the Brooklyn side, outside of the usual suspects. But when you look at the bench, you know, the bench plays a major part to me. So when I look at that Minnesota bench, I mean, you got guys like, I mean, Malik Beasley coming off the bench. And then, uh, I mean, they got some guys that they can go to and put out there, some lengthy guys, you know, so the Jaden McDaniels and the, uh, I mean, some Nas Reed could come in and give up a few minutes, you know. I mean, man, you know, the Vanderbilts and, you know, I don't know, man. I just lean towards lean towards Minnesota for that one. But I got to get the uh, 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 I got to get the uh, injury report. So, uh, you know, even, you know, the, the only thing that's getting me iffy on that is Minnesota's on the road. OK, uh, you guys got anything? Let me know. Philadelphia 76ers at Atlanta Hawks. Um, Got a lot of injury concerns here. All right. We got a lot of injury concerns here. Uh, so uh, we got, uh, let's see. Um, Bogdanovich is out. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, he's going to be out for quite some time. So he, you know, a few weeks or whatever. So they got to get acquainted. Okay. Uh Cam Bridges missed the last game, okay? Um, so uh keep an eye on that situation, all right? And if he if he if he comes back, it's a possibility he could be inserted into the starting lineup. So that's something to look out for. And that's you know, those are you know, there's some key injuries there, all right? So last time these two teams played, um, I think it was about the Halloween or maybe October 30th or some shit or whatever, but uh Philly went on ahead and blew them out. Uh, Atlanta Hawks have been terrible on the road, man. They ended up getting that, that W last game. Uh, I didn't like them last game, so they went in there and got it done. Um, I don't know what to expect with this one, man. I don't have a lean in this game or anything, man. I mean, 
They are at home. They've been really good at home. Um, need to see, need, need, need Cam Reddish news. Need Cam Reddish news. They're going to need what they can get. All right. And, uh, oh, shucks. As a props here, I'm going to tell you, um, Trey Young has been on absolute fire. I think he's had 30 points in like four out of his last five games. He's a double double threat. No, well, he's had 30 points five games in a row, okay? He's a double double threat every night. You know, uh, he's hit multiple threes in uh, uh, 14, I mean, 13 out of his last 15 games. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, you know, it's a three point shooting league when you get these boys for uh, all the threes that they, you know, all the points that they, they take, you know, I mean, they make. They score, you know, uh, a lot of them take, take threes to get there, all right? Kevin Herter, uh, in the event that, uh, um, well, even if Kevin Reddish goes or not, Kevin Herter is going to get a, a, another uh, a boatload of minutes. I liked him last game. He went for 19 points. He hit three threes. Um, I'd imagine this is going to be a little bit tougher matchup here, though. Uh, he's probably going to have somebody like uh, – He's probably going to have somebody like Danny Green. He's going to have some, you know, I guess, you know, I don't know. Probably not. Depending on who, what the starting lineup they run out, you might see some uh, Maxi or Seth Curry, you know. Uh, but I have some mild interest in that 10, 12 and a half. Mild. Last time these two teams played, they were healthy, though. He didn't have, he didn't play as many minutes there, but they were healthy. I have some mild interest in that uh, 12 and a half, though. Mild, even if I have to uh, go down and uh, alter it to 10 and same game parlays or something like that. What is that? Minus 275. He did hit three threes last game. Uh, so, you know, even if I want to touch on the two three point area, going to get that two three for minus 156. If you don't think he's going to get 10, you think he's going to hit two threes. Uh, Seth Curry, uh, I don't mind that two threes for him at minus 225. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, 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 you know, about much where I'm at with this one. Uh, Joel Embiid is always in a good spot. I really bet on him. Uh, I just don't, you know, this game here, I need a little bit more time, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, uh, don't have too much for this one. Um, uh, was looking at the rebound prop for Kevin Erder. <coughs> His rebound prop is surprisingly sitting at four and a half at plus money. Um, Man, I mean, man, uh, I know anything could happen. He's only averaging three and a half. He is gonna. He did have four rebounds last game. He will get some elevated minutes. I mean, he played thirty-four minutes and thirty-eight minutes in the last two games. <sighs> There's some juice on it if you take the under. Okay, There's some juice on it if you take the under. If you wait for the alternates and you know uh, want to alter it for, to under five and a half. In same game parlay, you might get there for about two something. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I'm kind of iffy. You know, I, I want to take the under on that. I'm undecided. What you guys think, man? What you guys think about the under on that four and a half rebounds? That's a lot, man. He said that's a lot. Let me see. Uh, I mean, in his last, uh, he do have that upside though. <laughs> he has five. He had five rebounds or better in like five or six games in the last fifteen, man. So. I mean, I might have to temper my expectations on that one, man. But, you know, uh, you guys got something, man, you let me know what you like in this uh, Atlanta game here. All right. Orlando Magics at uh, – uh, uh, damn, I didn't click on it. Orlando Magics at uh, Houston Rockets. Uh, 216 over under in this one. Uh, Houston Rockets favored by two and a half. I'm going to let you know right now, this is one of my second favorite teams, all right? <laughs> I know the last time these two teams played, people was like, damn, this boy crazy. He's talking about I had, well, I, the spread was kind of high. Going up against Denver, Orlando, it was eight. It was eight and a half, man. And, uh, this is these guys, you know, this is another one of those teams. You know, I'm an old school guy, man. You know, they got an old school roster, man. They got, they running the, the you know, the big guys out there. You know, they running Mo Bama, who I like. And then uh, they, they they pushing out Wendell Carter. I mean, those big boys, they can put some wear on a, you know, they can put some wear on you, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in some type of way. You know, they know they're down there. They know they got Twin Towers down there, and, you know, it is what it is, you know. But the spread is two and a half in this one. I have some interest in the spread. 
Uh, I really like them to win this game. Uh, injuries, you got to have to keep an eye out for the injury situation, though, all right? Now, uh, the Houston, Houston got, got got by some scares last game, so uh, nobody's significantly hurt. So in, uh, Christian Wood is uh, questionable for this one. He's actually probable, so that's that's a good sign, all right? Now, Kevin Porter Jr., he's quest He's the really one that's uh, questionable in this one. Um, uh, he's the really one that's questionable, so keep your eye on that situation. If he doesn't go, you might see somebody like what? I don't know, man. You might see somebody like Amani Brooks get the start or something. Or they might slide uh somebody else in there and and, and let um and let uh Eric Gordon get the start at the one. Something like that. Whatever. But um we know Jalen Suggs is out. Uh and Jalen Green, we already know that. And that's about it for the significant injuries here. Now, uh let's see. Um Making a pit stop right here in this double-double category before we get into it. Uh, even if you don't like the win or whatever, uh, you know, and if you like one of these guys like Wendell Carter or Mo Bamba or something, because we only have uh, Orlando Magic's props out. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting to both. I mean, these guys has hit double-doubles in both games, but it's like a pick-your-poison type of thing here. Uh, anyone you want to go to, if you want to go to them, I mean, I have some interest in both of them for a double double. I'm probably gonna lean towards Mo Bamba because he's gonna, you know, he's a traditional center, and then he's gonna be down there. Um, he has, you know, 15, 16, 17 rebound upside, uh, barring any foul trouble. So, you know, I, 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 uh, you know, I like the matchup. I mean, Christian Wood, even if he goes, I'm still gonna like him for a double double. I'm gonna like Mo Bama for a double. I ain't saying I'm not talking about Christian Wood, so I, uh, there, there, there you have that. Uh, you know, so one, you know, last game against uh, uh, Denver, they had they had their rebound props set at Mo Bama. They had his set at seven and a half. I think they were both and him and Wendell Carter at seven and a half, or maybe six and a half. Right now, they got these guys juiced up at 10 and a half. So, you know the books know. The books got a hunch, you know what I'm saying? You know, nobody has a crystal ball, but they got a hunch that these boys are going to be rebounding. And, you know, there you have that. Um, I haven't checked the eight rebound prop, and they got it pretty They got it pretty hefty, man. So, it's going to be looking like, damn, I don't know about that, man. 11 rebounds, a pop. If you if I, if you said I had to take one of these guys for eleven rebounds, it would have to be Mo Bamba, Wendell Carter. They neck and neck. I don't know, man. I might not even touch that shit. I don't know. But for the sake of them being underdogs, I'm gonna have to. You know, if I'm if I'm really gonna put some money on these guys, I'm probably gonna take a Mo Bamba uh, double double and the win. I ain't even gonna lie. Now Cole Anthony has been playing out of his mind this year. He's been playing really good for his standards. Uh, I rarely bet on this uh, point prop, so but he's a good guy. I mean, he's a good guy. Uh, uh, you know, you can look at his PRAs and make a decision there. If you guys got something on those PRAs, on his PRAs, let me know. Who is this? Okay, here we go. Let the, let the games begin. Too early for these messages. All right, uh, yeah, so uh, player assist is where I had some interest at. Um, I think this is the first time all season – Oh, I thought I was at seven and a half. Six and a half, huh? Well, he showed that he can crush this here. I have some interest, though. Uh, he's averaging five and a half. I mean, around six assists. Even if you want to uh, 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 um, uh, go down to uh, uh, five, a six and saying it probably is a prayer props or whatever. But I do have some uh, interest in that. I mean, he's hit this in uh, five straight games, okay? Um this is a pace up matchup. I believe they play at the fastest pace in the league, Houston Rockets. Rockets. So it's going to be plenty jump shot opportunities, plenty um, opportunities for bricks and rebounds and assists. Okay, so I, I'm going to have some interest there. I'm, I'm going to have some interest there. Um, and Franz Wagner. I mean, you know, I, I, I probably would have no interest in his assist prop, but he's been scoring the ball really well as of late. Uh, you know. Uh, his, his, his point probably sitting at 14 and a half. He is, uh, 
You know that's no Jalen Suggs. Then you know Gary Harris, he's playing about 30 minutes a game. Um, he's hitting double figures. He's had double figures, I think, in four out of his last five. Don't quote me on that. I need to go back and check. Uh, but, you know, um, Franz Wagner, I mean, uh, he, you know, he's had double figures, uh, some decent double figures in, uh, you know, five straight games. And uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, it, you know, it's it's it's, it's going to be interesting. You know, I'm going to have him for a point prop or whatever, but I'm probably going to alter it. I ain't even going to lie, and probably uh, try to get to me some plus money in uh, same game parlays. You know, because I'm going to do a same game parlay for this one. I am. Yep, sure is. So uh, you know, there you have that. You know. His assist prop, Franz Wagner. His assist prop is sitting at two and a half. Okay. Now this one has some real interest in. You're gonna get it at minus one eighteen. Uh, he's averaging two and a half assists on the season. He's hit uh, his last five games. He's had four assists or better. So uh, I have some real interest in that. Uh, even his two assists prop is sitting at minus three fifty. Okay, I, I don't mind going to that. In, you know, in player prop parlays, you know, uh, three minus three hundreds will definitely get you some uh, pl plus money. So. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite props here. So uh, that's, there you have that. Uh, so let me, let me let me keep it moving, all right? New Orleans Pelicans at Dallas Mavericks. We got a 218 over under in this one. Dallas Mavericks favored by 7.5. Dallas Mavericks just beat the brakes off of these guys. Let's get to the injury, injury news and notes. This is one of my favorite teams right here too, man. Even though they've been getting their ass beat up this year, uh, they're going to sneak up and beat some teams. I profit up on their wins. Uh, now, uh, Chris Dar Porzingis is, uh, questionable in this one. Josh Hart is questionable in this one. Um, and that's about it for the significant injuries. Yeah. Like I said, they got their ass beat up. All right. This is a rematch. Rematch team, rematches tend to be a little bit tougher. Okay. This is an eight, a seven and a half point spread again. I had, I had some interest in it the first time and I was totally wrong. Okay. They got beat up. I don't know what happened. I mean, I didn't see no nothing slick from the centers or nothing like that. On the Dallas side, they just got beat up. I mean, but uh, Christophe Porzingis did go for 20 and 10. I mean, it is what it is with that situation. But still, I mean, Jonas Valanciunas, I love to target bigs against <coughs> Dallas Mavericks. I'm looking for the New Orleans Pelicans to uh, clean up their act in this one. All right. Now, uh, Josh Hart did sit out the last game, okay? He did sit out the last game, so that's that's something to uh, think about right here, right there, all right? And then, um, and then uh, he's not up there listed, but uh, Hardaway Jr. did go out there and smack 4-3, so, you know, a lot of momentum probably went that way. And then uh, Jalen Brunson, he hit three threes. He had a pretty nice game. He had 17 points. So they 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 unleashed the dogs last game. But that was last game. Let's get into this one. All right. The 22 point, 22 and a half uh point prop. I don't mind getting to that for um for uh, uh Brandon Ingram. I mean he's he's had, you know, uh he scored 20 points in four out of his last four uh five games. Uh so, you know, he had totals in 29, 27, 11, 21, 26. He did hit this point prop against these guys. He shot the ball pretty efficient at 11 to 7. Uh, he went 11 for 17. Of course, they did get, you know, they, they was, you know, beating them all game. So, you maybe want to temper your expectations. But, you know, the 20 point prop for him, you'll get it at minus 205 if you really want to get there. Um, Jonas Valanciunas, he played horrible last game against these guys. Um, they, they might have been stretching them out. I didn't watch that game. Uh, they, it's a possibility they could have been stretching them out. You know, he had uh, six points, five rebounds, one assist. Just terrible. You know what I'm saying? He's averaging 18, close to 19 points, 12 rebounds, two assists. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so, I mean, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, so, I have some interest in his rebound prop, you know. I mean, so... Uh, another prop that I have some interest in is uh, if we get uh, Josh Hart out, then I don't mind going to Devontae Graham to assist prop. I mean, it's a lot of juice on it. It's really a lot of juice on it, so you might want to parlay it up, you know, or wait till an alternate come out and probably get a full round three. But uh, this is if uh, 
Josh Hart is out because Josh Hart missed that last game. When Josh Hart missed that last game, you got Devontae Graham. Devontae Graham has six assists, okay? Um, another one, another prop I have some interest in is uh, Devontae Graham's three-point prop. Uh, I mean, he's like the assist guy and the three guy. That's really where most of his points come from behind the arc. Don't mind taking him for two, but uh, you're going to get that at minus 360. Um, he's going to hit uh, two three-pointers more often than not. Um, he's hit two three pointers in in um in in in, in um thirteen out of his last fifteen games, so uh he's not one guy that hit he's not that type of guy that hits one he hits two, uh in his last fifteen games you know like I said you know there's not a one three point making in, in sight there's either uh two or better, so uh that's something I can get down with, so uh. I mean, it's and as far as the Luka Doncic's and the uh, whatever, you know, they just gonna. I don't really bet on them like that, you know. Uh, they they do what they do. Boston Celtics at Utah Jazz, um, two thirteen over under in this one. Um, uh, Utah uh, Utah uh, are, are nine nine point favorites at home. Uh, we know what we know right here for the injury news and notes here is uh. Jaden Brown is out for this one, okay? And that looks like that's about it for the significant injuries. For the significant injuries, that's just, this is about it here, all right? So, I mean, I looked at this game last night, and I just I don't have anything, man. I can't have anything for everything. It's only one thing that y'all know. Y'all already know what I'm going to. I'm going to the assist prop, all right? We've been killing it. We've been killing it. Marcus Smart has been, been fucking it up for us, all right? He's been killing it, all right? Now, uh, this is going to be a tough matchup, but I got faith in him. You know, uh, this is what I'm going to be. You know, he's, he's hit this. He's hit this. You know, he's had five assists. And uh, Marcus Smart has had five assists in 13 straight games, okay? We've been, you know, we've been eating on them. It's been going up to six and a half. It's been going down. It's been up and down, man. We've been eating, man. We've been eating on them. And uh, I I just got to go there. I mean, hey, keep the streak alive. I got to go there. But that's all I got for this one, man. That's all I got for this one. I'm not going to go into anything else, I promise. Let's go. Um, Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix at Golden State Warriors, 216 and a half over under in this one. Uh, Go to State Warriors favored by seven. Uh, so, I mean, six and a half. Uh, another game here. <clears throat> another game that I really don't have a lot for. Uh, you know, I really like to hear you guys see what you guys got for this game. Um, we know we won't. We'll be without uh, um, Devin Booker in this one. We know Chris Paul is a double double candidate every night, right along with DeAndre Ayton, uh, Mikhail Bridges. I mean, he's gonna have a tough defensive task again. Probably be out there chasing around Steph Curry again. Um, Jay Crowder. I mean, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, he he had a pretty decent game. He hit four threes last time. I really don't mess with them guys like that, you know. That's probably the only thing that I probably go for is three points for those guys. I'm more interested in the guys later on, you know, when they when they put them reinforcements on the books like uh, Cam uh, Cam Johnson. Um, so you know, you know, he's he's gonna be one of the guys that I'm gonna be looking out for. Uh, somebody who's been ultra uh, ultra consistent. Um. You know, he's hit, you know, two threes or better and uh he's hit two threes or better in um eleven of his last fifteen games. He hit four three pointers uh last game against uh, Detroit. Uh three three pointers against um Gold State Warriors. They're gonna need him to, you know, shoot the ball, all right? So I'm waiting on his props. I ain't even gonna lie. Uh, you know, twenty seven minutes to twenty nine minutes. Somebody that somebody that I'm waiting on. Uh, Jordan Poole. <clears throat> Jordan Poole has been shooting a three-point beautifully this year. Uh, so I have some interest in his uh, three-point prop at two and a half. And I know most of you all do too. Uh, but, you know, uh, 
He's hit two or more three pointers in us uh, what seven straight games, six or seven. Don't quote me on that, but he has makes in the area of six, four, two, two, eight, four. Ultra consistent, you know. Uh, then he had uh, one and zero, but then he came back with two, 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 three, two, six, seven, uh, two and a half. You know, I I, I, don't, I don't mind that. I know his two. Let's see, his, his two made threes is probably juiced up from hell. Yes, minus five fifty. But uh, yeah, I got some interest in that. You know. Uh, um, man, <laughs> Golden State Warriors at home. Know they'll probably be looking for to get some get back. Uh, keep an eye on the injury report. Hey, it could be a possibility they say fuck it. We ain't even gonna play. Um, we ain't even gonna play Chris Paul this game. All right, it's a back to back. All right. Watch out. Watch out. It's a back-to-back. -back. They might sit Chris Paul and say, you know what? You guys can have this game. Or, you know, they're going to risk that streak. Whatever the case may be, it is what it is. Um, last game on the docket. Clippers at Los Angeles Lakers. 215.5 over under. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers uh, favored by one. Uh, don't have a lot out for this one. Only got a few guys from um, the Clippers. Um... Uh, I mean, while I go over the injury report, uh, we have, um, let me see, we have uh, <clears throat> uh, Anthony Davis questionable for this one. LeBron James questionable. He, um, he's, uh, you know, he's he's with that, you know, he's going through the COVID protocol, so that's something to look out for. Um, Nicholas Batum is out. I mean. Avery Bradley is questionable. It looks like DeAndre Jordan is probably falling out of the uh, uh, rotation a little bit here or a lot here. So uh, um, Dwight Howard played 35 minutes last game. He had a double-double. He had 12 and 13. Uh, I think I got to go back and check again, uh, see what the deal is with DeAndre Jordan. Uh, but, you know, Howard looks like to be the one there. Um I mean, I don't have too much for this game right now. Uh, if everybody's healthy in this game, everybody's playing, uh, I, I got to lean towards the Lakers at home in this one. But anything can happen. Uh, LeBron James is, uh, you know, his last three games, he took, you know, he took it on average 11 three-pointers, 10, 11 three-pointers. Uh, he has three-point makes in the area of four. Two and five, so he's looking to shoot the three point a little bit more this year. This, you know, so uh, um, I'm, I'll, I'll be looking for his three point prop. Um, Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. I mean, Paul George is back, so you know, uh, I'll have some interest in some of his props, but I can't put a nail down. I can't nail down anything right now, man. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, I'm just gonna let you know if everybody's healthy. I'm slightly leaning towards the Lakers for me. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'm probably gonna end this one. I I do have that parlay. Uh, it, where is it? You know what? Yeah, let me see. Uh, this was a one that I uh I think I put five bucks on it. Uh, where where is it? I'm never I'm next never on uh my bets. Okay, my bets, my bets, my bets. Hey. Okay, yeah. Oh, I put four. Oh, I put what? I put fourteen fifty on this. I mean, last night it was just a you know just a first look, and I said, you know what? I'm I'm supposed to I'm spending some money on this and, and go my butt go my butt to sleep, man. Underdog parlay, you know. I tell you what, if I hit this parlay, I'm doing a nice giveaway, okay? A uh, very nice giveaway. Uh, a very nice giveaway if I hit this parlay. The Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, the bonus, so double double on the win. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, Obama double double on the win. Los Angeles Lakers. Just a little dot, though. Sprinkle a little something on it. Just nothing, just for fun. But, you know, it is what it is. Peace out, guys. I'm out. Good luck.